All right, how is everybody doing tonight? We have a very special the regulars tonight as we talk about the shield. The shield, not uh, Marvel's Agents of Shield. Surprise twist. No, just kidding. Are we uh, talking about like the the HBO show The Shield? Yeah, was it HBO or is it FX? I don't know. I don't, I don't know. know. Uh, anyways, uh, welcome to Over a Couple of Drinks presents The Regulars. I am your host, Bill Henning, and my uh, co-host, Chris Krause, is, um, he's a jerk face. He's a... He couldn't watch it today. He got, he's busy. He's he got things going on. busy doing something. I don't know. Lame. Uh, so with me tonight, my, um, <clears throat> my, my agent may to me being Phil Coulson, not because, yeah. not because, uh, he's deadly, but because of that subtle sexual tension we have every now and then. Mr. Michael Knight, how are you doing, sir? I'm doing great. It's a good night. Yeah. So uh, we're talking about uh, episode. Was it 17? Melinda today. Mm-hmm. Uh, and we finally got the backstory to Agent May and why she's called the Calvary. By yeah. the way, spoilers. This what? is this is full spoilers. Well, I mean, they shouldn't be watching the show if if they like. We're talking about the show that just happened, right? Yeah, so yeah, but you know, yeah. sometimes people are idiots. Yeah. You're idiots, all of you who are watching. All <laughs> You're all a bunch of, all like of a bunch of jackasses. A bunch of jackasses watching this review show without watching the actual show. Right? Right. So, uh, what do you think of the show? Of tonight's episode specifically yeah, t- or yeah, the show in general? Yeah, tonight's episode. Tonight's episode was great. Um it had it had a couple things that I like to see. It had really great backstory. Yes. Uh, as far as we saw May's backstory, and then we saw, you know, we really kind of figured out finally, finally, the kind of full arc as to how, you know, Sky, like what happened to Sky and with her parents and why her parents left her, you know, left her. And, and you know, we finally got the full, you know, reunion of Sky and her parents, or at least Sky and her mom. I mean, we we wanted Sky and her mom for a while yeah. to get reunited. But as far as you know, the backstory between May and then, on top of the you know the backstories we got, we got some sweet fight choreography, which Ming Na Wen is always up always for. great, always so, great, yeah. You know what I mean? So yeah. yeah. No, it was uh, it was really good. I liked. Uh, I actually liked the backstory because I was worried about it because you know they've been building this up since mm-hmm. episode one. That well, yeah, you had to know it was something that was gonna break her. Yeah, well, because you knew, she's you you had bad. you had pieces of information like, uh, uh, forget the girl or whatever she what Phil said to her at the end because that was given up, but we didn't know what and and I you know you could always worry that it would never live up to the expectations, but I felt that it actually lived up to the expectations rather well. Right. Yeah. I think and I think they layered it in. I think like it. It may not have worked as well without, first of all, a couple episodes ago meeting Blair Underwood's character. I, I actually don't know his name, um, but her, you know, May's ex-husband. Yeah. So yeah. we got that, that you know, she was at one point married. They were and then, happily married. So we, yeah. So we saw that they, were, that they were married. We saw that a couple episodes ago. So then when they introduced this ex-husband in, we've already been familiar with him. We're connected. You know, we, yeah. we saw something. So that was good writing. Because, and then in the beginning of this episode, when you see their nice relationship, they're trying to have a, a baby. You yeah. know, they want to start a family. And so when she has to kill the little girl spoilers. at the end. Spoilers. Which, that was a good twist. I mean, I, yeah. If oh, I, great twist. If, if I was paying a little bit more attention, I would have caught it because it, it mm-hmm. was pretty obvious. But it was a good twist. Yeah. It, was a, it was a solid good twist that you just right. kind of go... Oh, because normally Shield's pretty straightforward on things. They don't try mm-hmm. to play twists on you too often, no. or nothing too big. So I, that's why I wasn't really prepared for it. I think. Yeah. So like it was, it was good as far as you know, having that aspect of of her killing the little girl, and that is the thing that broke her and made her not like. Because I think you know May May is one of those great characters that you see frequently in, um, in things in in you know cinema or stories you've got this the badass with a heart of gold you know she will wreck you and she's emotionally unavailable and the reason that she's emotionally unavailable is because she actually has the biggest heart yeah yeah and 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 so we see that with sky we see that with her and sky all the time yeah and and you see you see her 
uh, when when Sky comes out and they find out that she has powers, you see mm-hmm. how she kind of instantly pulls away, and you kind of, and then that's when they started referencing what uh, the cavalry story a lot more. Yeah. What happened in I don't remember the exact town. Sorry. Bahrain. Ba- Bahrain. Bahrain. Yeah. And and you, they they start playing more and more up on that. I'm like, oh good, we're finally gonna actually get that because that's the longest secret they've had in the show. Yeah. So uh, it was. Good. You know they. Go, go, ahead. Ahead. go ahead. No, I was going to say. It was no, good. I was going to say. I mean, they played. They played three, like at least three episodes. I can't remember if it was more, but three episodes in the very beginning of the series, season one, where May was just the plane driver, and we're sitting here going, Why? No, "No, this chick, this chick can destroy people." And then, of course, we've since seen what May does, and you know that when when what I love about Melinda May is that like she goes up against people with superpowers all the time, and as like an audience member. You just sit there and go. She might, she can handle it. She could take it. Oh yeah, and I, I like the, <laughs> you know I like the subtle reference that uh, that uh, she could have been an Avenger, kind of yeah. thing. Like mm-hmm. you could have seen like oh well, let's let's scratch out Hawkeye and put put May on instead. You know. Yeah. That, it, but she could. I mean, she could be just as good as as the Black Widow. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And that and that's that's cool to see that kind of caliber that we're dealing with. Because right. because uh, the problem with the show is that it has a hard time connecting into the bigger verse in my mind because you see mm. all these great things happening but they don't affect the movies, right? And and that's kind of rough. So every now and then when they when they say, oh yeah, she's, I want you on the team, Coulson says, and you're like, oh, you could you could compete with Black Widow. That that's your skill level. Okay, cool. Sweet. Yeah, you know, and that's 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 always good to see. Yeah, we always need to see that it's you know it's part of the larger universe yeah. because that's what we love about the fact that you know we've got Agents of Shield, we've got Agent Carter, we've got Daredevil now. Like these shows they all are just complementary to the larger to the larger cinematic universe, and it's just it's going well. So anytime they yeah anytime they give us the, those little tidbits yeah yeah is is great. Yeah, no, it's it's great and. Um this episode had to be all about May, and I kind of sort of wish the B storyline, the present day, mm-hmm. focused a little bit more on her. You see her start to yeah. question Coulson when the secrets come out, but I feel like it could have gone further, personally. I, I Like her digging into a little bit more stuff without, like, yeah. without uh, Simmons or Mac showing up, but her doing with it and, like, how, how we mm-hmm. see her, old her and new her uh, kind of twisting the information because in this episode we kind of Coulson is is hiding uh, is building another f- what is it base so to speak for supers that's what mm-hmm. they're thinking and he he's been in contact with the ex husband <laughs> and this kind of starts to turn her towards New Shield are we serious, are you seriously calling it New Shield see I call it I call it Good Shield Bad Shield can, can we call it Battlestar Galactica Shield. <laughs> I'm okay with that. Either that or Blade Runner Shield, okay? But most people don't realize that he was the he was the other Blade Runner in Blade Runner. But yeah, let's no, let's, let's like, Battlestar Galactica yeah. Shield. And, Black, Battlestar Galactica Shield and then and Shield real Shield. Shield, real Shield. Real Shield. Yeah, because I'm sorry, we've been you and I are on the same page with this. We've been with Coulson since day 1. Coulson yeah. is Shield, all right? Yeah. Nick Fury gave him the box. Therefore, he is the Shield. Right. I mean, the only reason the New Shield thinks that they're justified is because, I mean, it's like, and I, I read a thing online that said, you know, it, it's all about, it was all about geographical circumstance. Like, who think, like, for all we know, there's another ship out there that oh, was a oh, Shield yeah. ship that thinks that they're the only Shield left. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? I, I like that idea. It just, it felt, uh, at, at the beginning, it felt a little wishy-washy, the setup. It, well, I mean, we talked about the fact that um, that the fa- you know we we just got de- done dealing with Hydra for yeah. a while, yeah. and then we had the whole Inhumans Cree thing going on, um, and then New Shield, and and then you know we had oh what was it? No, Leviathan is Agent Carter. Sorry, um, I still you know, need we to watch dealing- that. I still need to watch that. Oh, my oh God. you gotta watch Agent I, Carter. I do. I do. So good. I do. It just- it's only seven episodes, so yeah, you like. Yeah, it. but I was um, catching up on Shield, and then Daredevil started. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but. Uh, but you know, we, we you've got this sort of th- these groups, and then all of a sudden, now your your bad guys are Shield, some group of Shield that thinks they're the real Shield, and it's really just a bunch of old people sitting around going, "No, we're the real Shield." And it's like Coulson's oh. the one who's like, 
been in contact with Nick Fury. He's been on the front lines. Yeah, that, that's the one thing that pisses me off. They're saying, oh, we don't like being stuff in the shadows. I'm like, then where were you fighting Hydra? Where right? were you being hunted by the government? Where were mm-hmm. you stopping things? That was. But yeah. my realization was this. We call it Battlestar Galactica Shield. They're literally on a ship by themselves yeah. in the middle of nowhere trying to find a home. It's Battlestar Galactica. <laughs> it's, I mean, I never watched Battlestar Galactica, so I don't really know. It's that Battle about Sea it. Galactica Shield. <laughs> well, oh, I'm no. just bad like, jokes are bad. I, I just think like you know Edward James almost character is like, well, Colson is you know just running things crazy. It's like, yeah, and what are you gonna do better? Yeah, like, really. Like, yeah. What? But um, but I would can we as far as this episode goes, can we talk about the the Sky storyline uh, real the, quick too? Because there was a it, the Sky Sky and her mom storyline was very, I think it was really important. Yes, the no, fact it was, that her, it, it's you pushing, know, her it's, mom. It's pushing the main storyline. We got a little bit more backstory about her because uh-huh. we've assumed she's been dead because yeah. Mr. Whitehall Nazi face cut her up. Right. But we find out that another big twist was that we find out that uh, Sky's dad knew that. The mom has been alive the whole time. He put her back together, which is really interesting. Since Yeah, which she just sort of said flippantly, and do we know more about that, or is that no, all we've that, heard? That's all we've heard. He like, just put her back together, Frankenstein style. Okay. Yeah, well, why not? You know? But, um, one, I love the actress playing her mom. She was in Dollhouse. Yeah. She was my favorite person in Dollhouse. Yeah. Uh, because she had a very interesting storyline. Okay? Um. Uh-huh. Uh, we're seeing Sky develop her powers. It's great. We're getting a little bit more backstory into the Inhumans, uh, and we're learning more about what's her name, Rayla? Rayla? No, Reina. 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 Right. I, well, we I, just I still learned, call her I, Flowers. We we just learned at the end of this episode that she may like another side of her powers in addition to being thorny is that she has prophetic dreams, uh, telepathy possibly, which plays into her in season one trying to find out what the clairvoyant knows and being a telepath, mm-hmm. which is really cool. I think that's a good callback yeah. that, that uh, I didn't really piece together until the very end of the credits. I went, oh. Yeah. If was only... there an after the credits? No, uh, no. The before credits thing was um, was yeah, when he was good old, in. was good old Fitz. Good old Fitz. Yeah, Fitz being like, um, yeah. but can I still hang out with you? Yeah, Fitz being, and, uh, Fitz, being love, Fitz and Hunter being Hunter. and uh, Yeah, Hunter's like, is there an electric hand dryer? You're going to be, be just, just fine. fine. We're going to teach you how to kick ass. Yeah, that, I, I think my other, uh, just a mild complaint, because they're having the most fun right now, is that we could have used more Hunter, Coulson, and Fitz. But I understand this was a May episode, and it needed to be yeah. a May episode, because it was a very heavy-hitting story. And again, everything was great. Um, I think a lot. I think a lot of people will give this episode a little flack, only because we're coming off the Daredevil high right now. Yeah. But, but you have to remember that Shield is in Daredevil, and Daredevil is in Shield. This, right. This is a a uh, a fun action film. You know, a fun mm-hmm. spy film. Daredevil is a dirty, gritty crime justice drama. That yeah. You, you just. I mean, you if you kind of go. I'm- Oh, the fight scenes weren't as good as Daredevil. Don't don't be that way. Don't no. Don't, and I don't mean, make and, me and smack you. Okay, that's all. I'm gonna let's say. let's not like let's not forget though. Like okay, yeah, we had the fight scene in this episode with May running through that warehouse. But I mean, look, one of the best fight scenes, and I've even seen I've seen Daredevil. I've been watching Arrow. I watched one of the best fight scenes I've seen in a long time on film or TV was the one between May and Agent Thirty Three. Um, I was it earlier in the second season or was it at the end of season one? No, it just it's it was, whatever it's whatever fight yeah. scene they're in the hotel room and May literally jumps over the coffee table, turns around, grabs her head and slams it on the table. That was like solidly one of the best fight moves I've ever seen in anything. So I think that yeah, you can't deny how good Melinda May, how good of a fighter she is, and and yeah, don't sit here and compare it because they're two very different things. Yeah, yeah, that, that's that's my thing. They're two very different things. I wouldn't say that was my best, but it was. But it was really, really good. Like, right. And, and you know that uh, – what's the actress's name? I'm really bad with names. Who plays May? Ming uh, Na Wen? Yeah, Mulan. Um, <laughs> she is the voice of Mulan before you cry racism. She is, she is the voice of Mulan. Okay. Uh, you, you better believe she did that herself because she's rocking. Yeah. Homegirl is 51 years old. And, like, look, you've got Sky, You've got uh, – what? Um, Simmons. 
I mean, you got Bobby. All these Bobby. Yeah, you got Adrian Pilecki as you know as Mockingbird. I don't care what you say. The hottest woman <laughs> on Agents of Shield is Ming Na Wen as Melinda May. That woman's fifty one, and I want to take her to a nice steak dinner. You know what I mean? <laughs> like she is so good. I am like I don't care about like this guy's like oh my gosh I'm 25 actually I'm 26 yeah I'm 27 you know what get out of here let me talk to Ming Na you're as old as my mom honey but I don't care <laughs> oh I was gonna make a some type of uh, Jade just, Cougar reference but I think I'm just gonna pass <laughs> what is it um I just want I want her at some point to go like this and go well I don't want to kick the other kid's butt. That's all I want out of out of Mulan. <laughs> at some point, just a solid Mulan reference. Just a solid Mulan reference. <laughs> yeah, I, just just her like handing Simmons a gun and goes, "Let's get down to business." All right. <laughs> yeah, or like, or if somebody just walked in and is like a woman, <laughs> <laughs> and she's like, "Damn right," and then beats the shit out of him. Like, I think that would be fine. You that'd know, be, that'd be great. <laughs> we need a little Mulan reference. I mean, Disney owns right? them now. Come on now. Uh huh. Um. I think all in all, great episode, good solid episode, great backstory, uh, pushing things along to uh, and Sky's territory, uh, yeah, creeping along with uh, Battlestar Shield versus Coulson Shield. But you know that we needed a break from that. I guess we needed mm. we needed this episode. We needed this episode for a while. And I'm I'm very glad that and I I see I'm all about reunions and I'm really glad at the end of that episode. Is you know Sky sitting down with her mom and her dad? What a great dinner. scene! He, right, even though like, look, you know, Sky's absolutely right, and everybody's right. That guy is a lunatic. He's, I but mean, I, and, but I love him for it. Oh, he's such a, he's a great character. I mean, no, don't, you know, oh god, why can't I remember Kyle McLaughlin. McLaughlin? Kyle McLaughlin. He's so good, and he's great at this role. But you know, you really can see inside of like his eyes that he's just doing it because he really just cares about his little girl. You know what I mean? Well, and you you see him finally get what he wants. He wants the family uh, life again, and that was the best thing. Like him telling the exact same tale we heard the mom say, like what two scenes, three scenes late yeah. earlier, exactly the same way because he honestly remembers all of it. And you yeah. go, oh, this is this is the man he wants to be. But now I want to see the crazy guy again go crazy. Yeah, I just I hope they get a few minutes to be a family. Yeah, I think that'd be nice. Yeah, I think I think when he gets kicked out uh, of of afterlife, he's gonna flip probably. Yeah, but it, I, I I'm rooting for him because you you gotta love a good villain, and he's he's fantastic. Really. So uh, I think that's all we got for this episode. Right. Right. So uh, thank you, Mr. Knight, for stopping by and talking about S.H.I.E.L.D. Uh, Very happy. So. Hit that like button, subscribe, uh, comment what you liked about the show, the S.H.I.E.L.D. show, why you hate us, because why not? And uh, don't forget to My follow... Bald head. Yeah, your bald head. Don't forget to like us on Facebook and uh, hit the iTunes page for the podcast. Thank you, everybody, for listening. This is Over a Couple of Drinks presenting the regulars. We'll see you again for another Daredevil talk in the near future. Bye now. Bye now. <laughs>